Um, in 2019, a new strange comet was discovered. It was discovered by the amateur astronomer Borisov in Russian Crimea. He was using his own 65 centimeter uh, telescope. The comet had a strange shape and uh, mysterious behavior. First of all, its orbit showed that it is not from within the solar system. The orbit actually was showing that it is an interstellar object. The study of the light curve of the comet proved that it has a very long shape. That means it's an elongated comet, the nucleus of it, of course. As it was co getting closer to the sun, observations of it was increased. But in March, we noticed that the comet is shedding some material. Some pieces are separating from it. At this time, of course, the comet is moving away from the sun. So the nucleus of the comet should not be really active. Parts which are separating are shown in yellow color in this image. As if it is shooting objects out of its nucleus. One theory is that the comet is made of very similar components close together. But the question remains why it is now that it is away from the sun, these parts are active. At the distance that it is now from the sun, it should be really again frozen. Of course, we know the comets are made of ice and rocks. Another theory is that the comet is not actually one solid object. It maybe is made of hundreds of the smaller objects. But the question remains, now that it is far away from the sun, why it is ejecting uh, parts? Why it is disintegrating as if? The parts that is losing actually are not very big. Then the question again remains, why at this distance from the sun the comet is active? It should not be active. Or this is not a comet at all. Some have speculated that it can be a spaceship, interstellar one. And I will say probably, if it is true, then it's sending spaceships back. Is it a joke or is serious? All of this reminds me of the book by the Arthur C. Clarke, which was about an interstellar a spaceship approaching our solar system. And inside it was a lot of surprises. I think this stretched to five books. And that is a lot of food for thought. Keep safe.